I'd wager this is the outpost. Rebecca! Anders! Come on out! Take a gander. The door's busted. Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry-rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Oh no. Oh no. What did you do? Oh, hell. I'm sorry, Nyoka. I don't... they were... That bitch! They were all set to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you! 
The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses. Ugh. I to leave your medallions to rot with you, but Clara would want to be buried with her sister. At least, at least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, it'd break her to know the truth. Yeah, maybe. I'm used to disappointment. She was still so naive as to let it hurt her every time it happened. Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the mana queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. <sighs> That'd be boring. Half the fun in exploring is the fact that you're on an unknown trail. I've never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. Destination reached. Scylla. You got a second? Hey boss, got a hypothetical for you? You got a friend, see? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then one day, they up and vanished. Five years go by, they send you a message out of the Aether. What's going through your head? Right, forgot about that. Though shock and disbelief's a good way to put it. Guy by the name of Clyde Harlow. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. Says he wants to talk to me. Says it's urgent. Figured I should let you know, seeing as we're on Scylla and all. Clyde's got a base on the other side of this rock. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me.
Never see us. Here we go. Just one down. Ah! <laughs> 
Salutations. This unit's primary function is Excavator. Owner, Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Other functions include Dialogue, Limited, Current, Active Commands, Excavation. That is all? This unit is removing rock matter in search of minerals metals, and other forms of matter designated valuable. Negative. The presence or absence of human operators does not impact this unit's assigned directive. This unit achieves perfection by fulfilling its directive. This unit sounds like my old foreman. You know, it's a crying shame that auto mechanicals can't get drunk or laid. This thing needs both. This unit has now exhausted its available library of opinions about excavation. Thank you for your consumer loyalty, Junior Excavator. This unit will store this exchange in its memory banks, always.
red. You're going down! That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? Outstanding. These ought to be enough. Let's get back to Monarch. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the queen's brood to get to the center. We'll set the bait there. Password to the door is Charon. Hayes' idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Charon. He said it was some old myth, something about death and all the things we killed. Rest of us just thought it sounded cool, so here we are. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Now, hold on. What happens if we hit the wall? Most likely, the bullet will ricochet, which could be bad. Or hilarious. 
There's a tiny chance of a hull puncture, which would suck us into space one chunk at a time. Bad and hilarious. Ugh. Just imagine that makes me sick. That's why we don't miss. Hey you, looking for something? Where do you think you're going? Yeah, the captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you then? Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah, I'm Felix. You're on a first name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. Got my sights on me. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged, old man? I thought you were dead. Or throwing yourself against the walls of some re-education center. It's been five years, Clyde. The best thing you can say is, hey there, Hullhead? No, Felix. The best thing I can say to you is yet to come. Also, I'd like to have a word with your captain. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy, that one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. 
Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. Everyone in my crew proves their loyalty. No exceptions. Not even Felix. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own in tuck tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. Let's hear it. I was working on this plan for years, saving every bit I could, drawing plans, biding my time. I never intended to spend my life laboring on the groundbreaker. When the opportunity presented itself, I did what I had to do. I left. You might have said something. I had some ugly business in Scylla. If I told you, I would have implicated you. A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. Something on your mind? Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you'd never back down. What do you mean, had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I had to deal with? Been ages since we had a good haul. No freighters, no jobs, no contracts or leaks.
Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. We're now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. Muting volume now. in here since well i'm ready yeah right yeah here we go
Well, this is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. We hauled in steel hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first. But for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. She had a head for numbers, helped us trade hides for food and materials, negotiated contracts, turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and me. Six folks, one name, one family, Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. Me too, Captain. But I'm starting to think that maybe I found another. Now let's get to shooting before I get all sentimental. Mobile command accepted.
area has been sanitized. I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. This bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest.
Damn. Uh, 